Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Mungo Man Mungo Lady buried despite traditional owners' legal challenge Australia's oldest remains have been buried despite an 11th-hour legal challenge, leaving traditional owners outraged. Legal action filed earlier in the week had seemingly delayed the proposed reinterring of Mungo Man, Mungo Lady and 106 other indigenous skeletons The 42,000-year-old remains of Mungo Man, Mungo Lady and 106 other indigenous skeletons which were removed in the 1960s and 1970s without the permission of traditional owners, were proposed to be reinterred at unmarked sites in the Willandra Lakes region of southwest New South Wales. A group of 18 elders representing the area's three indigenous groups, the Mutthi Mutthi, Njayampa, and Barkanji Porkantai, filed an injunction earlier this week to prevent the burial. A statement the Federal Department of Agriculture, Water, and Environment on Tuesday said the reburial had been delayed until the incoming federal minister had assessed the application. However, the department said it had since been advised the remains had been buried. It was the department's expectation, based on communication with the NSW government, that the reburial would not be occurring, the statement reads. On the 24th May, the department was advised by the NSW government that the Willander ancestral remains had, in fact, been reburied that day. Mutthi Mutthi man Jason Kelly said he was devastated by the decision. This is an outrage against our culture, our heritage, our history, our people, he said. We want to know how this has happened and who is responsible for this desecration. This is just so disrespectful on all fronts and goes against the wishes of hundreds of past and present elders who have pleaded for a culturally appropriate reburial for our ancestors. Mr Kelly has called on the NSW Environment Minister James Griffin to investigate how the burial went ahead. He must find what the justification was for going ahead with these secret reburials in unknown locations and why it was done in defiance of our urgent court application, Mr Kelly said. We call on the minister to tell us where the remains are now buried, so that we can provide Mungo Man and Mungo Lady with a culturally appropriate public memorial on country. Porkentai Man Michael Young said First Nations people across the country had been disrespected by the action. We are still getting our heritage destroyed at an alarming rate by organizations and now government officials, he said. It is a slap in the face of native title holders. Mr. Young said those responsible should be held accountable for the destruction. I think these people have done a criminal act, a criminal act against Indigenous people, he said. You don't take it on yourself to destroy 42,000-year-old human remains, these people have got to be prosecuted. A Heritage NSW spokesperson said an investigation was underway into the removal of some remains from where they were being stored. Posted 11 hours ago, updated 6 hours ago.